Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So as you can see, we have a Deer John tractor here. Uh, that's what they're called in this game, a Deer John, not a John Deere, uh, which is all good. Licensing and all that jazz. Anyway, so we are heading to, uh, where are we heading to? Redding uh, and the Bushnell Farms in Redding, apparently. So that's where we're heading. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this truck moving. Take that parking brake off, that always helps. There we go. Uh, so right now we are in uh, this city, being Carson City, of course, and we are heading down to Redding. So, oh, I totally took that out, and that no damage though. Just uh, just a light graze on that trailer, apparently. Sure didn't look that way. Wow, that was bad. Should have been a bit more. Um, <laughs> Should have given a bit more leeway for that turn, I think. Anyways. Is that car going to give us enough space? I have new mail. And that mail is, you're in debt. Oh, seriously, it was yellow. Not my day for that, apparently. The cops are everywhere. Anyhow. So... One of the things I've noticed about this game is that, uh, well, it's funny because you're just starting out in the game. You don't have a very, like, big profile. Uh, I, it's, I find it kind of funny because what happens is you're like, you want to upgrade stuff and you end up putting yourself into, like, a, into debt, basically, which is what I did. I upgraded the engine of this truck, so now I got a 540 horsepower engine and I put a bigger fuel tank, so now I got 200 liters, or 200 gallons, sorry. So, that was part of the reason why. But, uh,. I like driving in Nevada because the speeds are a bit higher, uh, makes our life, a, makes 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 traveling around a bit quicker, but we're going into California, I think Redding, California, so we'll see how long it takes. Um, Reno. In reality, like, this, it's funny because, like, I, I don't know why, but it seems like the journey is, like, to do, like, five, six hundred kilometers in this game, in this particular game, or it just seems like, you know, it's like that. Uh, whereas in Euro Truck it was definitely different. I don't know if they changed that or not. I have to honestly check into the uh, to the actual stats and stuff to see. Uh, but that's definitely the feeling I get from this game. So, it has been rather interesting to see what what has gone on. So, but I have to admit there are quite uh, quite a number of uh, we can do 110 here. Uh, quite a large number of. Let's just do 120, sure. 120. Should be able to maintain that. Uh, I, it's very interesting to see the screenshot possibilities you can get here, which are pretty awesome. Uh, because you're going around the, along the coast sometimes, or sometimes along the desert, and you get to see some really cool things. So, that's what I found at least. How am I going faster than these cars are? Like, seriously. Go, car. There we go. That truck's not going super fast. I thought, um, well, the speed limit says for trucks 129, so. Oh, why, why, why? Did you just pull in front of me and then decide to stop? It was such a nice cruising speed, too. Oh, well. But yeah, there's lots of possibilities for screenshots, especially driving along the coast. Uh, if you like the desert, there's some pretty cool places in the desert. I found a crop duster not too long ago, which was kind of interesting as well. So I guess that was a loan payment as well coming out. Of course, it all comes out at the same time. Why wouldn't it? Wonder if our actual other driver's been doing anything. Probably not. Not in comparison to how profitable we've been, I guess. But I don't know. Right now, I'm just setting the other driver as a balanced driver, so like they get the points as they level up, basically. So they just put them in. Um, where the computer thinks is the good spot to put them. I think it's just a, so it puts them one in every single one basically. So I've been uh, messing around with the licenses because in this game they have, I just, I noticed that they have different class of licenses. So you can put like uh, hazard, you know, uh, chemical products. It's, it's a bit different than the previous. Uh, it seems a bit different than the previous one, uh, at least as far as I know. Uh, in ETS2, of course, I'm referring to. But they added, like, you know, you still level up and you still put points. Why did you pull into my lane and then decide to slow down, car? Seriously. Why on earth are you doing this? 
Am I going too fast? Is that what's going on here? Try not to crash. Jeez. Anyways, um, so it's kind of an interesting little possibility. So you can have some. They add some added some different uh, classes of licenses. I think so. You get like the possibility of being able to handle like chemicals that can like destroy <laughs> organic uh, matter, and that's how they describe them too, which is kind of interesting. So I guess this is gonna drop down. So we better uh, put it down to a hundred. But I think it's kind of interesting how they added that little functionality. Because I don't think it was in ETS2. At least I don't remember it being in ETS2. It may have been. And if it is, let me know. Let me know in the comments, because I'm not really sure. But uh, they do have like the regular, like, you know, long distance, you know, high value, just in time delivery. But they also have, it seems like they added another class. So you have to get like the classes so you can accept different types of materials, which I think is kind of cool. So basically, I've been kind of putting the points in like a balanced approach. And then that's basically so I always have, a, there's always a job I can take. Um, and potentially increasing the possibility of getting the most uh, high value job, basically. Uh, the upgraded engine makes a big difference, though, I've noticed. So, like with extra 50, I think it was 50 or 60 horsepower, it really makes a difference on the hills, is where it's really different. 129 here, huh? So, I found that uh, go car. This is not my day for these, apparently. Whoa, slow down. What? AI traffic, man. It's funny, when I drive at night, I never seem to have these problems because there's probably nobody on the road, but during the day, people just decide to slow down at random times and. Jeez. Look, and now they're like, okay, we can go fast again. I don't understand these people. Well, not really people that are AI, so... I suppose it comes down to uh, SES programming and whatnot. And they may adjust it in the future, who knows. <clears throat> That's what I suspect they'll do, at least. Uh, is they'll adjust it as they see fit, basically. So, some of these turns like this, doing uh, like 100, or seem really, really quick uh, with a truck. For a reason. So, like, I have my cruise control set at 100, and I'm catching up to these people, so I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm just going a little bit too fast. But I'm confused because the speed limit's 113. So maybe they're behind a truck? I don't know. There's an example, one of those screenshot possibilities I was talking about, with the, the mountains there. Always looks very nice. It's interesting because like once you go from like one state into the other, you can kind of see the difference. Like uh, Nevada seems like it's a lot of desert, and then you kind of go into California, and the it's a bit more lush, it's a bit greener. Trying to avoid that accident again. Jeez. Wonder how that works out in real life. In all honesty, like. How does how do how do, how do truck drivers deal with that? I suppose there are a lot of accidents, but I don't know if I were uh, if I were if I I should say if I had taken like a defense driving course, that's you know I guess that's what would have been, would have been defense driving. So like in order to avoid an accident, go into the other lane and stuff like that. But like they do encourage some stuff like that. Maybe not the other lane specifically, but you know if you see somebody coming up behind you who's coming in too fast pull over to the uh, shoulder so that they don't hit you and stuff like that i definitely have seen that before so not sure about everything else though but do i have my lights on yes i do why is it a double check minus eight thousand well we may we may uh we may actually make some money here. I doubt it. Doubt it though, because uh, if memory serves, we only make seven thousand from this trip, so the cars just don't make it any easier. Especially when they stop in front of you at random. So it's funny. I was up to like you know a positive thirty thousand dollars, and I upgraded my car, and then now it's all been uh, upgraded my truck, and now it's been all downhill. So and there's somebody who's quote unquote parking. Hmm. 
wonder what that's all about. Anyways. Have you been playing American Truck Simulator? What has been your experience so far? Um, most people think it's most people's reactions have been fairly positive, so let me know what your reaction is in the comments below. I'm kind of curious. Uh, most of the people I've talked to have enjoyed it. Uh, Landy Kid, for example, Caravera, Barnum Beavis, they all seem to enjoy it. From what I can tell, at least. It's like here's a little power plant. It's kind of cool. What if you can actually pick something up from there? Oh yeah, looks like you can. Oh, that's kind of cool. Gallon. Must be fuel then. Hmm. Good thing I double checked there. Oh goodness. So oh, it looks like we're in Reading already. It's funny, I kind of like having the uh, <laughs> engine brake toggled. Because it means, like, coming into a section like that, you can just downshift uh, when it's necessary. Oops. There we go. Just indicate that I'm actually turning here. Um, because what happens is it'll, like, you know, as soon as you take your foot off the gas, the engine brake will engage, which I think is really neat. Um, oops. So it makes your life a bit easier. So, like, I found when I had to, like, actually press the button before to engage the engine brake. Uh, it wasn't as smooth, so like you press the engine brake, downshift, press the engine brake, downshift, so. But alas, we're in town, so we should slow, we should, um, take the engine brake off. I've been trying to remember to do that, but it's not been easy. Alright, red light, no one's coming, we're good. It's green now anyways. There we go. And, no, I thought this was going to be the space, the spot where we're going to drop it off, but it's not there. Oh, don't hit the sign, Ian. There we go. There's Wahlbergs, commonly known as Walmarts, I suppose. I should really grab the mod. I think there's a, I believe there's a mod out there that, um, that will add all the real company names into the game uh, already. Oh, sweet, I've discovered a recruitment agency. This is good. This is very good. I still only have one driver. I don't know how profitable. Let's just check real quick. Just for, what are we looking for? Driver manager. Let's see how profitable. So profit per distance is $1.40. And she has, what is, what is up with that? Like seriously. <laughs> All right, whatever. I don't understand why the drivers are so inefficient, but, like, I haven't even been, honestly, I haven't been that efficient, so I'm kind of confused as to how I've been more efficient than the drivers. Like, in honesty, all, in all honesty, like, it doesn't make sense. I'm like, I, you know, I've, like, looked around, whereas the drivers are just driving, but, let's see. the hills, man. Oh. Why? Oh, jeez. So they decided to let me in. Well, that's nice of them. That would never happen. Not like that. Not on the highway. They would definitely just go around you. Apparently, some people have, I've checking out. I've been looking at some comments uh, on different uh, channels and different. Um, oops, what am I doing? On different videos, different people's videos, and some people say like it's. In some states, there's in some areas there are like a, there's a long like you know, feeder lane I'll call it, and then there's like a long like off ramp lane, on ramp lane, off ramp la ramp lane, but it's not common everywhere. So, ooh, look at that, very nice. So it's been kind of interesting to see what people have said about that, and it seems like it's uh, a state-to-state -state thing. So it's not just uh, it's not just the game. I think it's actually the way it is in real life. So, which is kind of interesting, because uh, I'm not from the United States, so I don't know what they have there. So it's kind of curious to uh, compare what I have here in Ontario versus 
what uh, is in California in the game versus in California in the real life. So that has been kind of a cool to see what the difference is in that scenario. So yeah, it's been kind of interesting. I haven't actually installed any mods yet, but I will probably uh, install some mods very soon because there are a few ones I'd like to get. I just have not downloaded them and installed them as of yet. So we'll have to see. Oh, this is our stop here. So here's an example of how it sounds when you just have it toggled as opposed to, or the engine brake toggled. Aww, every time. Yeah, they just they just want to stop on the hill. No, nope, I'm gonna need to drop it down into first gear. I thought this truck would be okay with this engine like this, but really, all right. Apparently, I'm not giving this truck this time. Oh, really? Okay. I'll be back in a sec. That was weird. I don't know why. As soon as I as soon as I paused the camera, I was like, Dip, ready to go." Isn't that always the way it goes, though? Ah oh, well. Anyways, we're, we're rolling now again. There we go. It's funny though, in real life what happens sometimes is um, when someone makes like a left turn like that and the trailer is getting really close to the other lane, some people like freak out and like back up. Um, it's kind of funny, except when they hit somebody else. I haven't never seen, oh, that's kind of interesting. I've never seen any, I've never seen anybody uh, hit any, any, anybody else doing that, but it's not to say it can't easily happen, so. There we go. Oh, there's another crop duster over there. But it is kind of interesting that, um, it's curious to see how people react to it. Because uh, as soon as they see the trailer coming around the corner or they see a bus sometimes turning, uh, then you really start to see the uh, how people react to it. So that's an example why I like the engine brake toggle. Because it just makes slowing down a nice gentle stop as opposed to like a uh... but it does get annoying when you get into the areas like this uh, where's oh there it is can I go all the way around no oh I think this is the one can you go all the way around here no can remember. There's one where you can kind of like just drive it around in a circle and you're good to go. There we go. Alright. So this is definitely the cheaty way of doing this. But at least you won't see me here moving and adjusting the truck for like 20 minutes, right? That's how I feel about it at least. Really? That's not good? Oh, there we go. Let's see if we get any bonus cash for that. 555 kilometers. Nice. And we're still in debt. Yep, by a thousand. Anyways, folks, that'll be it for me for a day. Another episode of American Truck Simulator. And uh, if you enjoyed the shelf, if you enjoyed yourself, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. My name is Ian Robson, and I'll catch you guys later.